Hi, this is Nicole Witt for New Job, New You TV. And I want to tell you a little bit about how I went from being a marketing strategist to being an adoption consultant. To give you a little bit of context, I want to explain what an adoption consultant is. And I'm basically like a wedding planner for adoption. I work with pre-adopted families and I provide them with the information, the guidance, and the resources they need to adopt a healthy baby safely and quickly, usually within about three to 12 months, which is something that a lot of people don't even realize is possible. My story with how I made that change is that I had a very successful corporate career, first in strategic consulting and later in brand management. And, you know, I was doing very well. I was flying on the corporate jets and all of that, but I was wholly unfulfilled, unsatisfied, uh, bordering on miserable, <laughs> I would say. And also, I never felt like I was a good fit with large corporations. I didn't like always having to ask permission for things that I knew were best for my business, you know, and having to sell my ideas up through multiple layers. It just wasn't a good personality fit for me. Um, on the personal side, my husband and I went through several years of infertility while I was involved in my strategic marketing career. And when we came out on the other side of that and were parents to two beautiful children, the thought of going back to work full time made me physically sick. I just, I couldn't even fathom it. The work that I did felt so meaningless and I just couldn't justify the amount of time it would mean away from my children and my husband. So that was really the kick that I needed to make the jump that I had been considering for a long time and going to business for myself. And I started the adoption consultancy. And a lot of the skills that I had in my previous career really carried over to my new one. Uh, first and foremost is marketing skills and you know although I was previously working on marketing products and services for somebody else now with my own business of course I have to market my own business but even more than that it really comes into play in helping my clients and although it can sound a little bit crass when it comes to adoption there is an element of marketing that pre-adopted parents need to do they need to market themselves to a birth mother so that a birth mother will select them and feel comfortable with them so a lot of those skills transferred over directly to the way that I help my current clients other things from consulting obviously come into play client management and things like that um, and basic kind of professional skills you know planning organizing you have to be very focused on all of the details to successfully launch your own business probably the biggest thing is my, my drive and desire to be the best at, at whatever I do and that's what it's really carried over from my corporate days to my entrepreneurial days um, in terms of my favorite part of what I do now, there's so many favorite parts, it's hard to pinpoint that. The biggest thing is that I just love my job. I look forward to working every day. I feel that what I do is so meaningful that I'm really making a difference in the world. And it's something that I think that my kids can be proud to tell other people about what I do. Um, I, I just can't imagine anything that's more satisfying than that. Uh, and the more kind of personal perks, I guess, that come with it is, you know, just being my own boss is amazing. I have so much flexibility um, to make the decisions that I know are right for my business without having to convince anybody else of that. Um, I have flexibility with the hours and the days that I work. Yes, there are many nights that I'm working until 11 o'clock at night, but there's also times where I'm taking a couple hours off to go chaperone one of my daughter's field trips or if one of my kids is sick or if something else has come up, as long as I can work it out with my clients and keep them happy, the, the days and hours that I work is completely up to me. Um, and the other real benefit with that flexibility is that I can work from home as much as possible. If I'm not in client meetings, I usually work out of my home office and you know it's just wonderful my husband works from home too so we get to have lunch together my kids come home after school with a babysitter and I get to greet them at the door and, and know what's going on with their afternoon and uh, and money can't buy those things so those are some of the the biggest advantages for me um, in terms of advice that I have for somebody thinking about taking the leap to following their passion I would say first of all start now but go slow Start by volunteering 
in, a, in the industry or in the area that you're interested in to gain experience, to gain contacts, to gain potential clients, okay? Then maybe you can cut your current full-time work down to part-time work and start doing a little bit of both. Maybe you can take on some hourly work that you can ramp up or ramp down as needed depending on what the financial situation is. And that gives you the opportunity to really make sure that your new venture is gonna provide you with what you need it to provide you with before you make that leap into it full time. Um, the second piece of advice I would give is cut yourself some slack. You know, it's not gonna be perfect right out of the gate. You're going to learn, you're going to improve, um, you're going to grow, and those are all wonderful things. So don't tell yourself that everything has to be picture perfect as soon as you start. Allow yourself the freedom to, to make some mistakes and to learn from them. And the third bit of advice, and it kind of ties into the giving yourself some slack, but is to be prepared to really change your definition of success. And that's much easier said than done. My definition of success was always tied to financial success. And before my business you know, had replaced my previous income, it was really hard to convince myself that I was successful because I owned my own business. I had flexibility. I was spending more time with my children. I was a less stressed and happier wife and mother. And all those things are so much more important than money. But when it's ingrained in you that financial success equals overall success, that is a really hard definition to change. So be prepared for some, some inner conflict with that one. Um, in terms of if anybody wants to contact me to ask me questions about pursuing your passion, following your dreams, or adopting, you can reach me at adoptanewlife.com or at 813-681-6232. Best of luck to you.